Hey, it is Troy Stavros with Cornerstone Realty Associates, and I wanted to talk today real quick about why we won't see a surge of foreclosures and what that means for home buyers, sellers, and homeowners. Now, if you're a home buyer, seller, or homeowner, you may have been wondering if a wave of foreclosures will hit the housing market soon. The good news is that the situation today is very different from the housing bubble of the mid-2000s. And there's two key reasons why a surge in foreclosures is not on the horizon. Number one, mortgage lending has been solid. One of the major issues during the housing bubble was that the mortgage lending standards were far too loose with risky loans given to buyers who couldn't afford them. Today, however, lending standards have been far more responsible. Over the last decade, the majority of borrowers have secured their homes with fixed-rate mortgages at historically low interest rates. In fact, as of the first quarter of 2024, 76% of homeowners have mortgages with rates below 5%, and nearly 22% have rates under 3%. This means most homeowners are locked into affordable monthly payments. Even during the pandemic, when economic uncertainty spiked, lenders worked with borrowers to restructure loans and offer forbearance options. This responsible approach has prevented homeowners from facing financial trouble. And as a result, foreclosure rates have remained historically low. Second point, homeowners have substantial equity. Home equity is another important factor in preventing a surge of foreclosures. According to CoreLogic, U.S. homeowners saw their home equity grow by an average of $25,000 per borrower from the second quarter of 2023 to the second quarter of 2024. That's a collective increase of $1.3 trillion in equity. As home values have increased over time, the total net homeowner equity in the U.S. now stands at over $17.6 trillion. And even though the pace of equity growth has slowed down, the number of homes in negative equity, and that's where the home is worth less than the mortgage, has dropped by 15% just over the last year. Only about 2% of mortgaged homes are in negative equity now. This is a significant improvement from the aftermath of the housing bubble, where many homeowners owed more on their homes than they were worth, which led to widespread foreclosures. Now, foreclosure rates now are at historic lows. The numbers show a healthy housing market. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, also known as FDIC, reported a decrease in the dollar value of foreclosure homes, known as real estate owned or REOs. From the second quarter of 2023 to the second quarter of 2024, the value of these foreclosure homes dropped from $7.94 million to $7.66 million, which is extremely low by historical standards. Similarly, Fannie Mae reported that the number of REOs in their inventory decreased by 17% year over year. Additionally, delinquency rates, or loans that are past due, remain low as well. Both Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have reported that serious delinquency rates, which are a precursor to foreclosure, are even lower than they were before the pandemic. Freddie Mac's seriously delinquency rate peaked at 4.20% in 2010 following the housing bubble, but in July of 2024, it stood at just 0.51%. This difference is a clear sign that the housing market is on solid ground. So what's the bottom line for sellers, buyers, and homeowners? Well, for home buyers, this means you don't have to worry about a flood of foreclosure properties driving prices down. If you're a homeowner, it means you're likely in a strong equity position and your mortgage is manageable due to low fixed interest rates. And for sellers, the stability of the housing market means you can expect steady demand for homes without the threat of declining prices caused by distressed sales. Simply put, today's market is much healthier and more stable than it was during the housing bubble. Thanks to responsible lending and increased home equity, a surge of foreclosures is not in the cards. If you have any questions about this, 
don't hesitate to reach out. This is Troy Stavros with Cornerstone Realty Associates here in Knoxville.